You originally lied to the police. You. What did I say? This is the police report of his conversation with you. I asked Savannah if she hit Diana with any type of water bottle. Savannah denied hitting Diana and stated there was not any physical contact. That's not what you just told me. That's not what I stated to the police. I said I did not hit her with a water bottle. That's not what it says here. There was also, in this police report, a statement of a person, neither one of you know, the witness John. Mm -mm. I assume not. This is just a person who was behind you in the car wash. Mm -hmm. That person stated in the police report, John observed as both drivers were merging and not backing down. John watched as Diana, that's you, get out of her car and approach the Subaru. That would be you. John observed Diana get hit with some type of canteen-style water bottle. Diana went back to her car and the Subaru made an eight-point turn and turned around to leave the car wash. John wrote down the license plate of the Subaru. If the witness made that state that neither one of you know and has absolutely no skin in the game made this report, and if he was able to see her get hit in the mouth with some sort of a water bottle canteen, then her face was not inside your car because she wouldn't have been able to see that if her face was inside your car, as you stated it was in your complaint that you filed before me. So, Miss Bruce, there are a couple of things that I'm going to say to you. First of all, I can actually understand how these things get started, and it's really stupid. But you don't have the right to use a dangerous instrument or something that is not a dangerous instrument, but when utilized by you, became a dangerous instrument, causing injury to somebody. You have no right to do that, because what had happened was bad words, angry words. And the first thing that I remember learning as a child was sticks and stones will break my bones, but names will never hurt me. Which means if she calls you whatever name she wants to call you, you can't pick up an instrument and use it as a dangerous instrument against another human being. Period. End of discussion. Whatever the words are, the words are not sufficient for you to injure somebody. There's a, another legal inference, and that is when you assault someone, you take the victim with all of their history. In this case, you hit a victim with a cardiac history. And she landed not only in the hospital with a split lip that required suturing, but she also had a heart attack. And the level of your arrogance to me in suing her after this case was dismissed, not on the merits, for your lost wages, is the level of your arrogance is astronomical. Astronomical. I have a kid to support. I don't care who you support. She's not responsible for that. You are. I'm not responsible for you the are, attack. You are responsible for assaulting her and causing her a split lip and a heart attack because she had had previous heart condition. And this incident that you created by hitting her with that water bottle, not an empty Pringles can, that type of water bottle, so says an independent witness, and causing her injury, you're responsible for that. She's not responsible for you losing your job. You are. You are. I and I don't care whether you have 10 kids to support. May I say something? Sure. She was spitting at me, basically. No, like that's me not... Don't, don't use the word basically, like a 26-year-old. Basically is not what she was doing. She was yelling at you. You said she was yelling at you, and spittle was coming out as she was yelling at you. So you feel threatened. Grow up! You have a kid to support. That means you have to grow up. She doesn't owe you a thing. So she was... So your case... Was... That, now, you ask me if you could ask me a question. Yeah. I answered your question. I don't have to answer any more of your questions. You were wrong. I don't say she was right in trying to get in front of you. That's not what I'm here to adjudicate. I'm here to adjudicate your response. And your response was to assault her. And you can't do that. And if you lost your job because of it, good. If that's the kind of temper you have, good. And maybe you have to... Maybe because you have an immune-compromised system, you should find another venue to work other than being an Uber driver with a lot of strangers in your car. Maybe. In any event, your case is dismissed. You have a counterclaim for $10,000. That's granted. Judgment on the counterclaim for $10,000. We're finished. Court is adjourned.